Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We're glad to be with you this Saturday. I'm Keith Maley, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking to you about the Home and Garden Show this weekend, which yes. we're glad to be a part of again. I don't know how many years you've been there, but it's at least 20. Yeah. 20 years, two times a year, 40 times at least, maybe 44, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I started going to the Home and Garden Show back in, I want to say January of 97. That would be 23 years. Yeah. This this week, this, uh, well, January, I, I meant like March of, uh, it might have been December of 96, even. No, they no, because they didn't. a garden show in December? No, they didn't do it in December. So it was probably spring of, yeah, it was probably the spring of 97 that we did our first home or garden show. Yeah, maybe you booked it in yeah. November. I don't know if you remember that. We had a big pink panther. No. You don't remember him? I remember something with the pink panther. Yeah, we had him on the top of a big booth of, of, a, of a gazebo, just so we could be the highest thing. <laughs> and he was sitting up there. And we were going to give the pink panther away. But did we keep it? No, uh, I don't think we kept it very long. And we ended up giving it away. That's funny. Yeah. Good thing was, I'm doing your marketing It was now. bigger than you. It was bigger than you, the pink pants. I mean, bigger than you were then, not bigger than you are now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it was kind of uh, cheesy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say. Good thing you're doing my marketing now. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but so, we have free tickets. So, so you want free tickets? What do you do? Well, we're at, the, we're at the dome right now, so we have our phones. So if you will message us on Facebook, we'll be able to leave them for you at will call. So all you have to do is give us your first and last name, how many tickets you need, and we'll put them up at will call. So you just go right up to the front. And if you haven't had a set up a Facebook yet account, now's the time to do it. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Message you, us at KM Builders. Mm -hmm. That's a good reason to have Facebook. You can't do that on Instagram? No, because Instagram doesn't notify us. Uh -huh. So you could accidentally go to our junk and we don't want that to happen. So Facebook's the best way to get in contact with us. All right. So even if you like Instagram better, Get your Facebook account started <laughs> because you can do things like that. Yeah. Direct message us from Facebook. Yes. And so we'll be glad to give you some tickets to come in. And there's a lot of reasons to be here. Um, mm -hmm. The number one reason to be here is KM Builders. <laughs> We're here. We've been there probably as long as anybody has. But we have a lot to offer and a lot of people to meet. And we set you up for an appointment right there on the spot when you come in and talk to Kelly or Sarah. And they'll get you signed up. Yeah, so, it's great. Yeah, and that way, that way you beat all the others who are trying to get a get us to come in during the week. They'll be calling us, but you'll already be set up. We've got our calendar right there. Mm -hmm. We know what's what schedule will be available, and you're going to get to meet a lot of other folks besides me and Morgan, which we do hope we get to meet you. Yeah. We really do enjoy meeting you and talking about your projects or what you're thinking about doing in the future. But there's going to be design consultants there's going to be cabinet specialists cabinet designer architectural designers architectural designers exactly and uh and some estimators will mm -hmm. be there too so the, a lot of the people that work on your projects you're going to get to meet them ahead of time you hear me talk about them on the radio show but you can meet them firsthand and they're our front line they're the ones that take care of you they are the ones that you will see why we're so proud of them and why we have success because of their their very high level of knowledge, skills, but particularly their customer service and care. Yeah, they do a great job. Yeah, it Definitely. is. It's, it's wonderful to work with such great people that care so much. So meet Marsha, Courtney, Mac, meet Jeff, David, David Bonnie, Bonnie, Kelly, Sarah, Kelly and Sarah, Morgan. Jaime and was there yesterday. Oh yeah, Jaime too was there. And so, we're also going to have some seminars, and uh, the one that's going to be done today is the top five scams in remodeling that we've seen. Yep. They're like the most common. And that's at six o'clock at the celebrity stage. So all the way, once you walk down the escalators, just go straight back to the six o'clock at the go celebrity back as, stage. Yeah, if you're in the middle, you go straight back as far as you can go yep. in the middle aisles, which is one of the aisles that leads to us on one end and leads to the celebrity stage on the other. Mm-hmm. And so we're right there. And if you just for some reason don't see us when you walk in, um, if you're wondering exactly where we're at, well, we are right behind 
The landscaping. The landscaping row. Mm -hmm. we're, the, we're like in the middle, but right the next row because landscapers get the first spot. For some reason, <laughs> I guess because they are so pretty, the plants are so pretty. But it's anyway. okay. It's like a front yard to our booth. <laughs> yeah. So come into the back backyard yeah. and see Kay and Builders in a booth. We have video set up in that booth so that you can see what an actual remodeling project before and after looks during. like. Before, during, and after. Thank you. Because a lot of times you do get to see pictures, but mm -hmm. this is video. Yeah. This is video. This gets to see people in action. And if you watch any of our videos, you know there's details associated with that that make a difference. Mm -hmm. KM Builders is all about the details. <laughs> That's what we're about. I mean, attention to detail and the details, everything from a contract to the uh, craftsmanship, to the neatness, cleanliness, to the communication. Remodeling should be about the details because you're living right there with them. And so that's one of the things that we're gonna continue to highlight is that the difference is in the details. It really is. Mm -hmm. People say difference by different by design. Well, difference in the details is what we, we really think about. Mm -hmm. now, and it makes the experience for the clients that it because we have so much attention to detail, it makes it completely different right. than somebody who the client experience is the afterthought. Yeah, it reminds me of preparing a meal. If you you fix the uh, the tableware just right and you do the tablecloth, if you were to press that tablecloth, if you were to, mm -hmm. every drink had the right garnish on it and the food had the right garnish and, and you did the right sauces for them and you cooked the meats just right and the vegetables just so, then what do you have at the end? Not just a bunch of details, you have an experience. Yep. You have an experience because you've paid attention to all the details and that is why we keep working on the details at KM Builders is Definitely. because we know that when it's all put together, it's a wonderful experience. That doesn't mean that we can't add some more things to that experience or improve on some of those details, but we are gonna continue working on the details because overall it's the only way to guarantee that the whole experience works for you. Yes, there might be a little detail missing in some of your experiences in eating and dining, but if most of them are there, it's still a great experience. So that's how you have to focus on it, and that's what we do. And you'll see that in our attitude when you meet us. Mm -hmm. And you know, another detail that we don't leave off is cleaning your home. We yeah. give you the opportunity to have it professionally cleaned rather than just my guys picking up things and sweeping. Yeah. We can do it a lot better and we do it with the maids. And and the maids wanna work for you too. After they clean your home with KM Builders, they wanna keep working for you. You can actually get a hold of them yourself. In fact, get a $25 discount off your first clean. Call them at 822-2525 or look them up at maids.com forward slash 211. Maids.com forward slash 211 and mention the code KM Builders to get $25 off. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about the Home and Garden Show this weekend that we are at. So come and see us at booth 611 right down the middle. Yeah. And I uh, wanted to mention my friends at Expel.com. They did my truck. I've got Expel on the Lexus. They did it too. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do the Hellcat. But probably for you, you might be interested in their windows. And so look David Calvo up at 880-0600 for any kind of protective film on your windows. And it blocks sunlight, solar heat gain, and even safety films yep. for keeping people from breaking into your home. 880-0600 or look them up at Expel.com. So... We had something we wanted to mention oh, yeah. to warn people about, right? Another lame contractor. Yes. Tell us about so this one. This one is basically a it's back, he's back situation. Um, the SAPD says that this man, Randy Malden, was paid $3,900 to renovate a home, but after being paid, the homeowner said that they never heard from him and that he was arrested Sunday, and this was just last month. So he was arrested last month on a felony charge of theft. This is his fifth theft charge Jeez. since 2007. 
and that the couple gave him checks valued at $3,900, but it seems like that they're not getting the money back. He cashed the checks the day that he received them, and it says that he has previous charges including check theft, theft of the elderly, theft of $20,000 to $100,000, as well as driving while intoxicated. So just in case this man gets out, he's going to come back Randy, and do it again. Randy Malden. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, and so, um, I mean, what do you do after you've been arrested for theft that many times? What kind of business can you get into after that? Theft. <laughs> I got another business you can get into. What? Remodeling. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, so how sad that is. It's so sad but true that people will get into remodeling when they can't. They can't get hired anywhere because of their records, but they can get hired by homeowners yep, because they don't check the because records. homeowners are typically great folks that trust people that that think you you know if I pay you you'll do what you say. Yep. It's only natural to think that way, and especially when someone is a is got so much confidence about what they can do. And so I always remind you that the word con artist stands for confidence artist yeah they are an artist they are a pro at building up confidence making you feel like they're confident about what they can do making you feel confident in them so again you cannot vet a contractor enough remember thirty nine hundred dollars is on the low scale of what you could be losing and that's yeah. what this couple lost but thirty nine hundred dollars is still a lot of money to be throwing away and sometimes people pay $3,900 and then they have to pay another $3,900 to fix what they did wrong. Yeah, so that like becomes $7,800 <laughs> yeah. or more. And sometimes $28,000 to fix what was $3,900. I've seen that. I've actually seen that. So or be careful. you just not have anything done. You just wasted all your money. So yeah. you're going to pay somebody else to do what you wanted to do. I've seen $5,000 work done for a few holes in the ground. Oof. Yeah. So we see it every week. I hear horror stories every week about people not finishing, not doing it, not paying, not uh, not even starting. Like this one didn't yeah, even start. Didn't even start. Uh, you know, he didn't even act like he was going to do anything. Yeah. He just didn't even he show up for two months. Checks. He didn't bring lumber. He didn't bring any materials. He did. He just didn't even answer the phone. Mm -hmm. So it's it's sad, but it's true, and we know it exists. We tell people about it all the time. But uh, that's why we're going to have seminars on the scams, the most common scams. We might mention more than five, but right now we talked about mentioning five. Mm -hmm. Depends um, on six how. Six o'clock today. Six o'clock today, but we talked about maybe you know if if we could. Depends on how much time they give us, and if somebody doesn't show up. And how many up. questions? Yeah, but that's a, it's a question and answer seminar as mm -hmm. well, and then the next day at tomorrow at four we'll be talking about eight sneaky ways that contractors cut corners. Now, they're not taking your money and running, but they're taking your money and ruining. <laughs> so they can, they can take your money and run or take your money and ruin. Yep. And take, you have your choice. So, so we're going to work. We're going to talk about both. Yep. And so today the show is on until 8 o'clock. We've added some new hours. So you can still have time to make it out and have a full day of it. That's right. And Here. then tomorrow it's from 11 to 6. Right. And if you want tickets, we have tickets, so just message us on Facebook and we can have some, um, we'll leave them at will call for you, but we'll give you all the instructions in the message. And you can just let us know your name and that, what day you'll be picking them up. That's right. And so message at Facebook. Yep. And then what jobs are we showing? We I think that showing. our screens in our booth are really cool. Yeah, there's three jobs. One is of a very elaborate work in Alta Vista. Mm -hmm. And that was a full house remodeling. Very elaborate, very detailed. The video shows about all during the project, before, during, and after. Mm -hmm. And then it shows uh, another project is a unique project that we don't do too often. And it was raising a building up. We've done it on a larger scale, but we didn't video it when we did it before. This time we videoed it. And we raised a building up off of its foundation, got rid of the foundation, got rid of the rotten wood and the structure that was bad, and saved as much of the building as we could by supporting it you know, in a, with a process called cribbing. And that's on the video. But we had to actually save the building. Yeah, we saved the building as much as we could. 
and then Why? We, then we built what's what's back what what we built under it we yeah. built back under it and supported it again with a new foundation and walls mm -hmm. and the reason we did it that way which is a very good question Morgan is because it would it's grandfathered if we do it that way and so, that's important in that in that neighborhood because it was built on the property line one property line it was built right on the property line mm -hmm. and the other one was built really close to the property line on the other side and that allows them to keep that building in that desirable location along with many other buildings in that neighborhood that are that way and it's an acceptable look because there's an alley behind it and nobody wants their building stuck into their yard further when they can have it back all the way against the back property line and so that was a um, an effort coordinating with the city of Terrell Hills and making sure that we could get that that way and of course if you only if you know what you're doing only if you know how to apply for it and only if you save a certain amount of that building can you get that but but that is a good thing to have it was very valuable for this homeowner and they really she really appreciates that oh yeah because it would have been so squished mm -hmm. and by the way we made it match the home which we had oh, renovated yeah, really a few cool. years before and it is gorgeous it yeah. is just really really beautiful what a beautiful cottage and estate she has there yeah it's really nice and we what a great client too mm -hmm. we were able to give that room even a little room in there for storage that's okay. right it's got a little storage room in there mm -hmm. and we salvaged some of the fence too. oh yeah Remember, and we, we put, used it for closet rod uh-huh which was really cool galvanized closet rod in that storage area that came off of her old fence yeah so some cool things like that yeah, yeah that you'll be able to see the details that's right and yeah. so we want to mention before we go and take our break right here come to the home and garden show and see us but also check out truly nolan pest control i think they're there at the show yeah. but they're at trulynolan.com i've used them on my home you should use them if you're thinking about any kind of pests termites or rodents uh, maybe you got a squirrel in your attic give them a call at 651-1720 and they are our friends at trulynolan.com and we'll be right back to the km builders remodeling and design show Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are glad to be with you this Saturday, but we are at the Home and Garden Show this Saturday. So you can come see us. We'd love to meet you at booth number 611, right down the middle. If you go make it through the forest of the gardening of yeah. the <laughs> landscapers, you can see us right behind there in a big group booth with a red, uh, nice red band running around the top there that's lit. It has mm -hmm. lighting in it. Yeah. And we've got some videos we want to show you and some products. There's also a display of some 3D on the outside, how we do some of our designs. Mm -hmm. And so we want to, I want to mention BioGreen, who is supposed to be out here also. Mm -hmm. BioGreenSA.com. My friend Joe Caccino, go see him or call him at 421-9522. He's done, made my yard beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it was not beautiful before, I can promise you that. He was, was you were bad. struggling. I was really struggling. <laughs> and I'm, I like to be proud of my yard. BioGreenSA.com. So what do we got on uh, customer? Client, Client testimonial. testimonial. Great. Let's, let's hear about that one. Okay. So this one's from the Better Business Bureau. And Mr. Palmer says, we chose KM Builders to remove our above ground saline pool and surrounding deck. I remember that. Mm -hmm. It was a difficult job and they knew exactly how to attack it. It was a slow process, but proceeded with a complete cleanup before a new smaller deck was installed. The deck met all city requirements with anchored posts set in concrete. We are quite happy with the finished result. The company also completely rebuilt our master bed bathroom. It required the removal of an old vanity and mirror with lights and the removal of a jacuzzi and an attached shower. An unanticipated support beam under the jacuzzi was found, a workaround was created. A new linen closet replaced the old shower and a new walk-in shower with grab bars was installed. The project manager texted us routinely to keep us informed and design consultants at the headquarters equally were helpful in choosing tile and vanity. We are very satisfied with KM Builders. That's nice. What a great couple. Oh yeah, really sweet. I remember yeah. meeting them. And a lot of our clients are elderly and they really need the hand-holding in these projects. I mean, everybody needs it to a certain extent. But, you know, it's a modern technology and so forth that we can use. We can help people with it and to visualize. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my clients, when I meet them the first time on 
those 500 visits a year where I meet people, um, they tell me, you know, I'm not a very visual person. And that's okay. We've got the tools to help you be able to visualize, which we're demonstrating here at the Home and Garden Show, some of the uh, drawings and so forth that we do, as well as videos of projects that you can see how it would work in your, in your situation. We have so many videos out of different things that you can actually pick one that might be close to yours and you can kind of get a good feel of how it would go for you. Mm -hmm. So We definitely do. And that's what some of the videos that we're showcasing, we're showcasing three very, um, what did you call the, what is the word that you used last week? Elaborate. Elaborate projects. So that way you can be confident that any project that you have, that we can accomplish it with the skill and That's right. ease you don't Sometimes. you don't need to look at our projects and say wow they do only big projects or yeah. or they only do expensive projects well yeah we've done some really nice expensive projects some very large projects mm -hmm. but that's not what we we do all the time i mean uh, we do a, we do at least one of those all the time but but we have you know another dozen projects or so going at the same time and some of those are going to be your less expensive projects some are going to be smaller projects and we do all of that so don't don't think that you know just because you see a grand project being advertised or promoted or displayed that it's that it's only what we do mm -hmm. i mean when you go to a merchandise store of any kind they're going to put their biggest and prettiest up front yes yeah, so if you see somebody who is putting something up front and it's really small and then you know along the way sometimes you may want to expand into the living room or expand into this and then they can't do it Right. That costs a lot. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Morgan. Whenever, whenever people show something simple, mm -hmm. that may be the extent of what they can do, and it may show the limits of their knowledge or their experience in design. Mm -hmm. And even though you may say, "Well, that would be okay in my house," you know, yeah, really, it's you can have more mm -hmm. for the same price, and you don't even know it. Yeah. And of course, if you do change, like you're saying, to something a little more detailed or a little more elaborate, a little nicer, maybe they're just not really that familiar with it or they don't have the resources to do it. So it's better to, to have someone that can do a bigger, better project than, than somebody who can only do a little bit and then you need them to move up. Moving down a contractor that, can, that has the skill sets and the resources and the experience is easier to do mm -hmm. than to get someone to step up a level from what they're used to. You're going to pay the price when you do that. You don't want to be their test client. <laughs> That's right. And, and you know, a lot of people I've seen have done handyman work and now they want to do your patio. Mm -hmm. Now they want to do your, um, your kitchen. And so, yeah, they're excited about it and they just act like they're going to do such a wonderful job, but it takes resources to do this. I mean, yeah. just and designing. Integrity. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the integrity starts with them not telling you something that's not true. Like yeah. I've done this, I can do this for you, mm -hmm. but uh, you don't know. You sometimes you just don't know. But you know that's why you need to go to seminars, meet people, and see what other people are offering you. Because if you just talk to the guy who doesn't have that much to offer you, you don't know what you're missing because mm -hmm. you don't you don't have the knowledge of what should be being offered to you. But when you come talk to a full service remodeling company that has the resources, has the design team, has the uh, 3D renderings and drawings and the, the craftsmanship that can do it themselves, and you hear all these things and you see, wow, they have these resources, then you know what you're not getting when you talk to others, but you need to do your research. And how are you gonna choose at the end of it all? Well, don't, don't be frightened by the fact that this company has more resources. So does HEB. They have a lot more resources than any <laughs> than any other grocer in San Antonio. Oh yeah. But does that mean they're more expensive? No. No, because they're bigger. They have more resources. Yep. They have resources that have lowered their cost as well, and they're doing it over. They're spreading out. Just for example, a manager spread out over a larger area, and he gets more accomplished and more efficient. So efficiency is one of the way we built our company, and continue to build it so that it offers you the very best value. And we do not want to cut corners on what we offer you or how we produce it. And so, you know, that's the way Billy's Western Wear did their, <laughs> built their company. I know yeah. Greg White, I know his family. I've you know, known them for a long time. In fact, they've been clients of KM Builders. Mm -hmm. And so we wholeheartedly 
use them for all of our Western wear and any of that great clothing and outfitting that they do. Whether you're a true cowboy or you just want to look like one, you can, you can be fitted out there at billyswesternwear.com or go to Main Street and Bernie or call them at 830-249-3843. That's the local number there in Bernie, 830-249-3843, billyswesternwear.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show, and we are here at the Alamo Dome, me and Morgan, <laughs> along with the rest of our team, or yeah. quite, a, quite a few anyway, and we'd like you to come meet us and see what we're all about. Mm -hmm. and see some more of our projects, listen to our seminars. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I forget, I wanted to mention Renai Tankless Water Heaters is what we're putting in our home. And we recommend them for you. Go to renai.us, R-I-N-N-A-I. And that's Renai. And they are the best in water heaters. They have really hit the market with the best products and the best prices for something that really truly lasts now uh, compared to the old tankless water heaters in the past. Yeah. So I recommend them now uh, because I know that they're a very good price point too. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about, we were finishing up talking about contractors being in over their head. And that's one of the things you're trying to figure out when you come to the Home and Garden Show. And you yeah. mentioned in the word integrity. Yeah, and I, what I was meaning by that is because, you know, some contractors, remodelers, they have to start somewhere. But if they don't have integrity and they do something and they're starting, like this may be the first patio that they do. And I was thinking about you when you first started it. And I remember mom and you telling me that, you know, sometimes you would be the one there late into the night finishing the project. But if some contractors might just walk away and say, oh, this is too hard. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Or they're going to ask you for a lot more money. Mm -hmm. to finish it so and true. you weren't like that no i never i couldn't i couldn't even i didn't even think about asking for more money yeah so it was just this is what i did i gotta i gotta live up to this i gotta i gotta deliver on this promise yeah. uh, i wouldn't be happy with it if i didn't take care of this or that i mean let me take care of that and, mm -hmm. and you know it was hard on mom yeah it was because she knew that that i would not stop until it was done right she understood why i was doing it and that wasn't the issue it was just that it was just taking so much time. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you get the team behind you after you figure it out. But mm -hmm. when you're first starting out, it, it, you can be in a big hole or that's why so many remodelers are gone within the first one, first year, then most yeah. of them in the first five years. Yeah, and the, so. the rest, yeah. Most in the first year, year and a half, and then mm -hmm. the rest are within five years. Yep. Um, in fact, that's not an exaggeration, really. It's 97% done in five years. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I took it. I don't, you, it's good that you reminded me of that, that I used to do so much of the work and would work with my guys, and we would push whatever we had to do to make sure that the project was right. And, and you know, one of the reasons that my guys would stick with it and that I didn't have people leaving me uh, or not helping whenever it was tough Mm -hmm. is because I was there with them mm -hmm. and, and I realize now that that's how I built the company off of my own hard work and expertise and and I gotta admit I learned things that I didn't know before even though I knew a lot about construction and remodeling I kept learning and boy did I learn a lot when I got into remodeling yeah. and, and so you have to apply these lessons but as you said it's not just about knowledge because you're gonna run into things you didn't know Mm -hmm. It's about what's your attitude of do you have integrity? Mm -hmm. And I know that I've been able to build a company with other folks that have integrity because they saw it in me. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and that's why you have employees that have been with you for 35 years. Yeah, so it's it's really great to be working with some of the same people I worked with even more than 35 years ago. Yeah. Um, Sam and I started in, I think our first year was 78. Really? 78 Working or 70. for a different company together? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yeah, so we know each other back in 1978. Yeah. 79 at least. And uh, so, yeah, it's, and there's still a lot of people that I know in the business that knew, that you know, that I met way, way back. Mm -hmm. Started relationships with vendors when I started my company in 1984. Yeah. And uh, we still have some of those relationships today. And it isn't easy. And if a person goes in with the attitude of, of starting a business like this, 
of I'm going to have an easier job. I'm going to make more money now at the beginning than I did for my previous employer. They're wrong on both of those accounts, probably. <laughs> the only way you can make more money right away getting into a business like this is if you were raised in it, you're taking over a business, or you were, you know, you really had a lot of experience working in this exact field. But um, just having done the work was not enough for me to make more money in it. Mm -mm. I had done the work, but I, I didn't make more money in it than I was at the beginning. But I had the integrity. I had the desire to, to build a business and work off of it and stay with it long run, long term. And so, you know, now fortunately you get to work. I get to work with you in the business. <laughs> yeah. And it's because we built something that was sustainable and that repeats. And of course, now you've helped us to, to make it even more people, more more people aware of what we're doing. We're showcasing it better. We're demonstrating it better, answering um, questions people have about our company with the website better. All of these things make a difference. And so again, the home and garden shows are a lot better. And I got to thank you for that too, because it used to be stressful for me <laughs> as well as Mike Garcia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Mike Garcia set this one up without uh, hardly any trouble at all. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's because things can improve. Yep. If you put your mind to it and you get good people. Right. I've always put my mind to making things better, but I can't do it without people. Yep. And like you, you, I was always doing it and figuring it out and doing it right there myself. But you have helped us to, to make it repeatable, to make it easier for everyone. And I don't have to be so involved anymore which is a lot less stress on me. Mm -hmm. So that's really like, it, it translates into everything going right. with the client experience and what we do at the home and garden shows. And you're not gonna see our employees there being stressed out and exhausted and tired. And no, they're, they're having a good time meeting you. And yeah. you know, cause we mm -hmm. schedule them so that way they have a good time. And they're they enjoy there being on the project. They stay yeah. there. They need to work late they will if you want them to mm -hmm. take care of it they're not going to rush off or we have to get to another job yeah or you know and the same is true with me a lot of people have made comments about when i'm with folks that they they're amazed at how much time and they make com comments about thank you for for spending so much time with us we didn't expect that yeah and things like that because i'm not stressed out either mm -hmm. i'm getting text messages that i can view later in my truck to see what's going on in these projects because but they're not calling me because mm -hmm. it's not, I'm not needed. It's just keeping me informed. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll pull the phone out right there in front of the client and say, see all these texts? These are things <laughs> that are going on with project managers and their clients. Yeah. And, and I it's get not to a read bad, them. They're not bad. You know, right. they're, they're like, it's just uh, conversations. Plumber's going to be showing up in an hour. He just let me know. Oh, yeah. They're you know? Usually, <laughs> and usually when I show them, because they can see all my clients have, or their names are in all caps. Yeah. And they can see who's saying what. Mm -hmm. And they'll say a funny comment in there or like, we're so excited or whatever. And it shows right there in front of them. It happened yeah. while I was there with them. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, it's highlighting the communication and the level of service that we give to folks when they are our clients. We yeah. take care of them. We don't let them go. And so we hope we get to meet you here at the Home and Garden Show. Uh, there's a seminar at 6 o'clock. Top 5 Scams and Remodeling. And at 4 o'clock tomorrow on Sunday... Eight Sneaky Ways Contractors Cut Corners. We're mm -hmm. excited about sharing that and so much more. Even the products that are on our booth, from the Silex siding, which is a cellular product, to the cellular decking that we have there, the LVP flooring, um, just so many great things we want to talk to you about. We do believe that we offer more than the average remodeler, and especially in design and workmanship and the experience. That's why we say experience Design right. the experience, experience the design. So look us up at kmbuilders.com or call us at 680-5626. That's 680-KMCO or look us up at kmbuilders.com or come visit us here at the Home and Garden Show and Facebook us, uh, message, it's instant Fa message us. On Facebook and we can give you some tickets. All right, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next week on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.